Hello, Jess Tugan here, and I'm still recovering from my cold, but some of the most exciting LEGO news, and honestly, the most exciting unlicensed LEGO news in a while, has come out with the modular 2023 news, where this comes from BrickClicker, so we'll see if BrickClicker's reliable, but Falcon fans reporting this, so I'll give this a little bit more credit than the regular BrickClicker report. Regardless, it's apparently going to be a Petria and Jazz Club as our 2023 January modular. This will have 200 or sorry 2,899 pieces, retail for $230 with a Pizzeria on the lower floor, a Jazz Club on the top floor with a brick built jazz sign and a dark red color scheme. Okay, why is this so exciting to me? If you guys don't know, Pizza To Go is one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time. I even bought it recently, but I have this huge haul of just unopened boxes that will be my biggest LEGO haul ever. That should come out by the end of the year. I've been saving that up for literally two or three years. It's crazy. Regardless, this set is a set that I got when I was a lot younger. I got it off of eBay even back then. It was like the 2000s and it's a gorgeous small little pizzeria and to this day I think that's the best pizzeria LEGO has put out. Not that they haven't put out pizzerias since but there hasn't been one that has really captured the feeling of just a small pizza place. The closest I would say my second favorite pizzeria is funny enough the one from the Sanctum Sanctorum back in 2018. The recent Friends one was good and of course the 2009 one is nostalgic to me but looking back I don't think it was that great. Regardless, having a $230 modular where the first floor is a pizzeria is perfect. That is the pizzeria I've wanted my whole life. Complete with a lot more detail than the small pizzerias we've gotten from city and town can hold. And just have even like say a tiled interior or a kitchen. One thing I love about Pizza To Go is that we had a very small kitchen with these little ovens at the side. To have a full fledged one with a modular styling, I am extremely hyped. And again, it doesn't have to be the whole building because pizzerias are a nook and cranny type thing where they'll fit it on the first floor of a building. The second floor being this jazz club is a very interesting choice. A jazz club is another musical take from the modulars, which we've gotten like a recording studio before. A jazz club is also in this jazz theming that they had with the Lego Idea set that was released recently. Personally, I could have went for maybe another retail business, but to have a more niche art club is a fun idea, so I'm curious with how that comes out. So as somebody who grew up on Pizza To Go, and with that being my favorite set for a long time, like that was my favorite set, I think, after my initial childhood of, say, loving Temple of Gloom and the Island Extreme Sunsets. It was then Pizza To Go, and then that was my favorite set until, say, The Simpsons House in 2014. Pizza To Go, I think I got around 2008, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was 2009. Let me know what you guys think of this rumor in the comments below, and if I'm just being blinded by my love for Pizza To Go and other LEGO restaurant builds, or if this is really worth the hype. Subscribe for more LEGO news and commentary, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.